Hi guys, today I'd like to show you something about light chains for signage, box signs, channel letters or just for your own garage to light it up. I grabbed here now the HF2 chain X3 LED module. It came from Osram. It's a pretty nice module. On the back it has a little adhesive to stick it on. On the side is mounted a hole to screw it on on the back. It's most popular for back lightning panels. It comes with the own lens, what you see here, clearly nice on top and with a complete chipset. One module has 0 0.9 watts comes in a 6500K wide with amazing 76 looms and it's completely sealed IPX66. The lens on the top has a 155 beam angle, 12 volts and clearly to identify on a bag through the number. Now I like to show you how everything lights up. Also you can see it is pretty bright. Let's go down to the table and you see it doesn't have pretty spot the light is more smoothy and flows around. This is what we call it light diffusion. I will show you this here on a piece of light diffusion acrylic. If I go down to approx, let's say one and a half inch, I twist it around, then you see how nice your face would be light up. Now Let's compare this with a different module from a different manufacturer. I prepared already a little bit more simple or easier module. It has just the three LEDs without lenses and in the case is a little bit of electronic. Closely near the chipset. And now let's hook it up, but beware, take a look for the wire. One is red, one is gray. On the other is one red and the other white. Here I prepared it with some clamps and now let's put it together. Make sure everything is right. And let's hook it up. You see, both modules, different manufacturer, together on one chain. Important is to know how many watts each module have. Depends on your transformer. This is how this looks. It shows you the complete voltage here and in this case it has maximum 25 watts. Please don't go over 25 otherwise it gets pretty hot and your transformer can be damaged. This transformer is now also good for a couple of watts of different lights. I calculated already, depends on the amps, that one of this module has 0 0.54 watts and one of this has 0 0.9 watts. And now you can calculate up the whole chain, depends on how many LEDs, what for different brands you used, 
how many modules on one transformer. Now I show you with the light diffusion acrylic what's the difference between single SMDs or LEDs and a complete SMD with a lens on top. If you go down here closer, that's a prox a half inch, you see spots. Compare this with the other ones. This is close a half inch too. But it makes a big difference. I go over and you see how it looks. Shut off the power. <coughs> this module is made more for channel lettering, reverse halo lit, and this is more made for back lightning panels, box signs. Okay, you can use it in channel letters too. For some reverse halo lids, no problem. And now I show you how to calculate. U is a voltage, I is your ampere and P is your power, watts. Let's say this module has 0.045 amps, what I calculated already, but we don't know how many watts it has, what's important for us to know for our power supply unit. Then you can calculate U is our 12 volts, what comes from the transformer, output, not input, times I, it's a 0.045 amps, that's P for power, 0 0.54 watts. And now we have our watts, what we can add it to the whole light chain, each 0 0.9, 0 0.9, and then we know exactly how many modules we can hook up to one transformer. Thanks for watching and we'll see us again.